it's Liz from Old Stables Crafts. I hope you're having a good Saturday. And because it's Saturday, it's Simple Stamping Saturday time. And I've got something a little different for you today um, because it involves a kit, which I haven't shown you yet. But let's go and have a little look at what I'm talking about. Bear with me. So this is the kit. I mean, it's the same as all our kits. They come in these lovely boxes. And this is the Boho Beach kit. So this is the flyer that comes with it. So you make four each of two cards, uh, full color instructions, and it really is stamp along simple. So I'm gonna show you how to make up each of the two cards. And then I'm going to show you some cards that I've made where I have used the bits, but in a slightly different way. So you get a stamp set. Let me show you the stamp set words and images. So we've got, ooh, sit back and relax, enjoy your day, and two foliage and one spotty stamp. So it's a really nice little stamp set. Uh, you get in the box, let me bring it back in, a small pecan pie, which is of course one of our new colors, um, a block, which is about the same size as a D block, some dimensionals. Now I always replace the block with my lovely ergonomic D block, and I always use my own dimensionals because then I've got smaller dimensionals that I can take away with me if I want to craft on the move. Um, there's some mini glue dots, I generally replace that with ordinary glue and some linen thread. Die cuts, card bases, envelopes, all that usual stuff. So let me show you how we put each of the cards together and then I will show you what I've done differently. So these are the card bases. They are gorgeous. They're like that pouring of acrylic paint that's very in vogue at the moment oh and do remember as of the first is that tuesday i think it is as of the first of august there is a kit sale over on my online store link is below uh, up to 30 percent off all of our kits now that is while stocks last so do bear that in mind um so there's that I've got promotion going on where if you place a, um, an order of a certain amount, you will get some additional discount codes, all sorts of stuff. There'll be information about that over on my website and you can find that by clicking the link that's in the description bar below. So instructions, uh, we've got our envelopes, we've got our card bases. I'm going to start with card one, which is the one that involves the umbrella. So I need an umbrella. I need the the one that's got uh, Lost Lagoon and Pool Party, the card base. And the colours are um, bum, 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 Crumb Cake, Lost Lagoon, Pecan Pie, Pool Party and Wild Wheat. So I've got my umbrella. I've got the smaller of the two leaf die cuts this is the larger I have a pool party sentiment I need some linen thread which I've got and I need that die cut some dimensionals stamps etc so we're all good to go I'm just going to grab my packs of linen thread so we've got everything that we need so the first thing we've got to do is let me just get my bearing. So we have got some stamping on our card bases. So for card number one, on this side, because we need the crumb cakey bit at the bottom, we want these two stamps. So I've mounted those on blocks. And then we're going to pop the sprinkles along this white area here. And it looks like there's some that are full strength and some that are stamped off. We then need this piece of foliage kind of there. Um, and you can, if you've got the pictures, you can see that it's just to the right of two kind of circles and snuggles in 
next to here. So let's do that one first so I can show you what I mean. I had my big pecan pie. Here it is. I like to use my nice big pecan pie or ink pad, should I say. So we're going there. So that's that. So that's all done. Then I need my splatter. And I'm going to bring in, I had, there it is, um, just a piece of scrap paper to mask off this fold line because I want to come right up to that fold line and actually go over it with my stamp because that way I know I'm not going to be stamping on the back. Let's turn that over. I do like to twist my stamp sets. Let's do some stamped off as well. There we go. So that's that done. Get rid of, oh no, I need my ink because I need to do my sentiment. And we're going to do enjoy the day. Enjoy your day, I should say. So enjoy your day. And because it's photopolymer, obviously you can see through, which is always a help when you want to get things straight. So there we go. Now I can put my ink pad away. I need linen thread and we have a measure here. So we've got a nine inch measure and I need 12 inches. So let's grab, I don't need the scrappy bit. So I need 12 inches. So let's do six twice. So just fold that in half to measure and it's not exact it doesn't matter if you're slightly over or slightly under it'll be fine right so we've done all of that we need to put dimensionals on the back of our sentiment And they're saying three, so that's fine. One, two, three. A glue dot, and I'm going to use my own glue dots because, again, I like to keep my um, strips of glue dots for travelling. So this I'm going to pop just here for my linen thread. And that is going down up and down again. Like that. So that's that. Now you might and I'm going to, you might want, mm, am I going to? No, it's probably going to be a bit lumpy. You might want to just cover that with a bit of sellotape, something like that. So we now have, all of the instructions are on this page now. So we're going to pop this down first and that's going to overlay this stamped image and I'm going to use liquid glue. They're suggesting you use glue dots, which is absolutely fine. If you don't have liquid glue, just use what's in the kit. So they're just putting a few little glue dots. So I'm just going to put a few little dobs of glue. And then pop that down like that. And we want our umbrella. And again, they've used glue dots. I'm just going to use liquid glue. They haven't put any glue on those edge pieces, but I think I'm going to want something to secure the two ends. And then this goes down kind of like that. Ooh over the edge. Happily I have a glue eraser so I can sort that out. Oops! 
So here's my glue eraser, so let's just get rid of the glue that I didn't want to put where I've put it. So just watch that you don't have that going over too far. So that's that, and then we stick this on. And this is all being done with just glue or glue dots. So that's going to go about there. And then we can put our sentiment on, which will cover up all the kind of messy bits that we've got there. Now, do remember, if you don't like pips, you can take your pips off. Just pop that down there, fold your card, grab a bone folder, and your first card is done. So really pretty, great for all occasions. Now, one thing I did discover, for those of us who are in anywhere other than North America, these cards do actually fit in our standard envelopes. Um, and I say that because I will be showing you cards that I use the envelopes as paper. So don't worry if you want to use some of the alter do some of the alternatives. You've got plenty of um, room for using up your envelopes because you can put this in a standard envelope. That was a long way of saying it. Right. OK, so card two is the one that has the chair on it. We want the pecan pie base, a uh, sentiment base, the large um, palm leaf, the lost lagoon sprig, uh, this stamp, our dots again, and then adhesive. So that's good. And we're doing it, so it's a short and fat card. So. Here's our card base. They've got it that way. Obviously, you can have it the other way if you want. So let's have a look at what we're doing. Again, we're putting some dots on and we're putting the frond on. So let me pop that card out of the way. Grab my ink. That's the word I'm looking for. The large stamp first. And this is going... So it's, we've got this big bubble here. It's just above the big bubble and before this bubble. So it's going to be kind of there. Obviously, you don't need to be as exact as that. That's that. And then some more of these dots. And they are specifically putting them there and there. I'm going to join them up because I can. So that's that. Then we need sit back and relax. So sit back and relax. And of course, I've done it the wrong way round. It should have been that way round. But it's my card, so it doesn't matter. <sighs> Gotta love it. Um, it does mean I'm going to be having these a bit hidden. It's fine. It doesn't matter. So you want seven inches of linen thread. So let me grab. Actually, I've got seven inches here. So let's do that on my grid paper. So there. And this is going to wrap around with the back, with the ends tucked into the back. So again, I'm going to use my own glue dots. Glue dot, I should say. So I'm going to have it there. And 
wrap this around crossing and then stick that end down so we've got it like that so we've got one straight ish piece and then across dimensionals on the back like that Right, okay, so the first pieces to go down are our frond and our palm leaf. And again, they've used glue dots, so I'm just going to use dots of glue. They've just used two for this, but as I've got a glue pot open, I might as well use it. So this is going up there. This, which is on dimensionals, and they've just put a couple on, which looks fine to me. This goes out to the side. Ooh, that's interesting, because the seat isn't on dimensionals. So this they've put not on dimensionals. Oh, I suppose it's resting on the sentiment as well. So sit back and relax comes about there. And as I say, this they've got on just on glue dots. But I'm going to put dimensional pieces on these legs because otherwise they're going to be falling off. So I would say time to chop up your dimensionals. So that's going to go there. That feels much more robust. I might even put a little bit just there. Just there. Right. That feels better to me if you're using glue dots you're gluing the bench to the flat of the card but you're also gluing it to things that are raised up and that just feels weird to me so that's going on there that's going on there like that and then we can fold that in half and that is our second card so those are the two cards that you can make using the kit and you can make four of them from the kit i've added some crumb cake and some white card and i have made these two cards out of bits from the kit now i have also added the cloud punch you can leave the clouds off, you don't have to have clouds. But this is one of the card bases, and this is the bit that's left over. This is one of the card bases, and I've put it onto the um, envelope backing. So it's on a crumb cake base with the envelope and then the card. I've stamped in full strength and part strength using Lost Lagoon. You could still just stick to the pecan pie. Um, I've stamped in the background. I've punched out the clouds. One's raised up, one's flat. Just use the white for this. Then this one, 
I've cut the umbrella in half. I've used just a strip of white card, which I've stuck on using tear and tape. So I stuck the tear and tape onto the card and then trimmed the card down so it was very fine. Then stuck that down and then put the umbrella over the top. It does mean that the umbrella stick is at an angle. I can live with that. A um, couple of clouds again. Oh, that needs trimming off at the top. A um, couple of clouds. One's punched the right way up and one's the wrong way up. Card base stamping. Lots of the dot stamping um, around the edge to give it a backing. Oh, and on this one, I've put some more of the envelope on the inside and some stamping on the inside of the card as well. So those are just a couple of thoughts for extending the kit because this paper is just beautiful. So you can either just do the cards that are in the set, lovely, or you can do this and it means that you can get, instead of eight cards out, you would be able to get 16 cards out of this kit at a minimum. Now, I haven't used the bench or the seat on any of these cards, um, but you could. You could put that on four of them. Um, you've got these leaves that you can spread about as well. So there's lots of things that you could do. Um, I will start doing some more of those and hopefully, time permitting, I will share those on my website just so that you've got a few more ideas. I may even manage to stamp sentiments the right way around. You never know. Anyway, let me flip the camera back up just to say thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed that, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Um, as I say, there's information on my website about using this kit in a different way and also information about a special that I've got for just the end of this month. So orders that are placed in my online store up till the end of July and there is a number limit on that so it's a first come first served but there'll be a link to that information in my website um, have a fantastic rest of your weekend and I look forward to seeing you again very soon bye for now <laughs>